Establishing an all-natural highline at the top of a mountain requires a good amount of gear. We are going to spend the night up there, so we made sure we have everything we needed before leaving. It's a 10 km hike with 550 meters of elevation gain to reach the top of the mountain. It's only located a few kilometers away from Lake St. Clair in the southwest of Tasmania. It's a fossil. This is before the ice age, guys. Seriously. Holy oh, shit. <laughs> Unreal. I need to take a picture. Yeah, we're just climbing up and Paolo looked down and um, saw this beautiful fossil from 10,000 years ago. <laughs> Even longer. The heavy backpacks slowed us down, however, the excitement was so high to get up there. Dude, this could be one of the all-time classics. I am so fucking pumped to do this. Establish the line up here and shoot. <laughs> when you think about Tazzy, This is what you imagine when you come to Tazi, for sure. Misty weather, a bit of rain, the sun comes in and it goes away. We just have everything. And uh, sort of halfway and... Oh, it's gonna be sick up there. <laughs> Oh, why? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> video? Yeah. Sorry? Here we are. On the last push to the top of Mount King William. Just uh, getting oh a bit of rest. Oh, and some water and uh, soon we're gonna be up there looks amazing from here does it look amazing no it doesn't mind here we're right squad here This is a short little line we're putting up the top of Mount King William and uh, it's been great. Paolo is building the other side and I just finished building my side. Let's see how we go. Rigging today. We have a big wrap at the back. To the master. I have two placements, a cam and a nut, to a sliding axe and that's another leg. Here we have another two placements, a cam and another nut at the back to a sliding axe, two carabiner to the master. Every leg independent, three points, 
found these under the shack, the old shack over there. And here we go. Establishing a line. Here we are in the tent. Uh, we just rigged a 30 meter line on the top of the mountain here. And me. No. And uh, it's raining outside, it's foggy. And it's windy and it's cold, it's 4 degrees. Yeah, the conditions are not that good. But the line is tested, it's all good, it's all working. Hopefully tomorrow morning uh, we'll be up for sunrise and Hopefully we'll be able to have a nice walk and um, have the weather clear would be nice. Mm -hmm. uh, so you'll be able to see the mountains and the, um, and the lakes. Right? Right. Cool. Let's sleep well. Seven in the morning. We got a banana, pretty fat one. A tomato. A tomato. Two wraps. Oh. And an avocado. So, oh, some rice. But I, I don't want to have rice for breakfast. <laughs> Me too. But do you want to be full or not? Yeah, we go. I wish we had peanut butter. <laughs> yeah. So much food in the room. Rainbow! Is that a reflection of the peak that we are on? I think so. It must be. Because the sun's right behind us.
here we are back again almost at the summit at Mount King William Paulo and I after rigging the line yesterday had a great session it was a beautiful day sunrise inversion we had it all uh, packed it all up went down and decided to come back today to try to fly the mountain so the plan is to try to land where the cars are which is i don't know a few kilometers back towards the highway highway uh back behind us the clouds they look pretty close <laughs> and the wind looks really consistent and coming from the right direction so uh, we might be even be able to go for a bit of a soaring ridge soaring so see how it goes super excited and uh first um hiking fly in tasmania you <laughs> enjoying it <laughs> 